Our next speaker is going to be Jonathan Stickland, who is the Texas State Representative for District 92. Jonathan Stickland. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? You know, most people can tell just pulling up here what you guys are rallying about. Because this issue is the only issue that's brought this many people to the Capitol almost every other weekend so far this session. And I can't tell you how proud that makes me feel. Because this issue doesn't have a bunch of special interest money behind it, if you haven't noticed. This is a true grassroots uprising. And many of us did not know each other just a year ago. When we started talking about constitutional carry and our Second Amendment rights and where those came from, people slowly started organizing all across the state, and this is just a manifestation of that that I have seen, and it has been consistent. Somebody asked me the other day, Jonathan, does, does constitutional carry, is this thing acting up or is it me? Is that any better if I do it like that? Okay. Someone asked me just the other day, does constitutional carry have a chance at actually passing? And I said, I don't know. But we're going to give it every single shot that we can to get this thing done. If you guys aren't familiar with this process, sometimes bills get killed. And there are a lot of people in this building who want to make sure that they protect is the word that I hear, members from taking a bad vote. This is what they tell me. And they say, Jonathan, constitutional carry, you know, it's, it's good to talk about, but it's just not time yet. Texans aren't ready yet to have that discussion about constitutional carry. Why don't we just take a little baby step and we'll go with the license first. And I said, when I read the Second Amendment, I don't see any room for compromise on this issue. I don't see any compromise available to us. And that's why I have maintained for the last three months the same thing. We are going to vote on constitutional carry. Because if a bill comes to this floor that is a gun bill, I will offer an amendment for constitutional carry. It is not my job to stand up here and protect members from taking a tough vote on an issue. I don't view this issue as a tough vote at all. In fact, I will tell you that I am excited to walk through my community and throughout the entire state of Texas and talk about these values. Talk about where the Second Amendment come, comes from. Talk about why the Second Amendment matters and why this is a foundational truth to the conservative movement and to every single Texan in this state. That's why I am not going to back down on this issue. And I ask that you don't back down with me. There's a lot of talk right now here in this building. I had someone come up to me all last week and say, Jonathan, if you throw an amendment for constitutional carry onto the open carry with a license, then you may end up killing open carry with a license bill. Yet we have a governor who has said that he will sign every single gun bill that comes to his desk. So why would we stop now? Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you here. Most of the folks, most of the elected politicians and the legislators up here will give you exactly what you are willing to take and nothing more. And that's why we must demand constitutional carry from these people. We must send folks that open carry with a license is not enough in the Republican primary. It is not what Republican delegates from the state of Texas put into the party, party platform. It is not good enough. If you have looked at this bill and you start to think about what open carry with a license is going to look like, it's a scary thing. Because let me tell you what's going to happen. It is going to cause problems for our law enforcement, which will then cause problems for us. And what I'm talking about is if you are seen with a gun, then they're going to start asking you to ID yourself for no apparent reason. They say, let me see your license that you have the right to do that. And this opens up a whole nother host of problems 
that we will be dealing with for years to come as gun owners. And that is why I will tell you right here and right now and anyone else that is watching, I don't care what threats you put in front of me, I don't care what you threaten as far as the legislation going in the future, we are going to put elected officials on the record, on constitutional carry, because the people of Texas demand it. So I am asking you to stick with us, stay the course. Understand that there are a lot of folks and a lot of special interests on other gun bills right now who are pushing legislators to sign up on different bills here and there. There are a lot of people who have come to me and said, Jonathan, if you force a vote on this issue, I will vote for it on the floor. But I don't want to put my name on it yet and take everybody else off. And that is exactly why we must hold a record vote on this House floor. And that's why we're going to do it. I think it's going to happen in the Senate. And I think that if me and you continue to stand for this issue and continue to fight, that we will get our liberties back. Thank you all for being here and keep us in your prayers. God bless.